So you guys remember how I was saying, oh, cozy, rainy day, rainy day. Look at the rain, it's so nice to fall asleep too. Until your house floods. This is, I can't believe this is happening. Dude. <laughs> We've thankfully gotten everything barricaded, the doors, so that it just stops coming in the house so that we can now get the water out of the house but it's supposed to rain all night. So, Is that what it said? yeah. So, we're hoping that this was the worst of it, that we've remedied it. I just think something's wrong with like the way that the backyard is like planned because this is insane. Or we need to buy a pump to like pump out the water in the pool before it starts raining. Like we really, it, it seems to happen every January, February. This happened last year, right when we moved in. This is like a problem. That's insane. That's an insane amount of water. Yeah. What a crazy way to start the vlog. Oh. Good morning. It's the next day. We obviously knew it was gonna rain. And last January when we moved in, we had a similar scare to where our property itself doesn't flood. It also had rained a few days ago, so the pool was pretty full. So the pool filled up, poured over. We had constant rain, a gutter that kind of comes down all in the same place. And the drain, there's only one drain in this area and it just could not keep up. It was just too much water. You know what I mean? There's this area right outside our back door that drops down and it collects water. And I don't know <laughs> if it's the stupidest thing in the world or it's protecting the house. I don't know, but it fills with water if the drain can't flush out enough. We came home last night from Romeo's basketball game and there I looked in the house to look for Kinsley because I do every time I come home and I saw water by the back door in the house. <gasps> Panic. I was like, babe, 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 like, come here, like, like, come on out the door. Like our house is flooding. And I'm not kidding, it was the fastest thing that happened. It like just kept coming in, kept coming in. My vintage rug in the living room soaked. We had every towel and blanket that we owned trying to soak up the water inside, but it just, that, that was part one. Let's try and just get some of it soaked up so it stops going into the house. Now we've got to block the water from coming in because this little area was like completely filled with water. The water was about two inches above the bottom of the back door. So it was coming in from all sides of the, the back door. Romeo started scooping water out of that area down the steps and we needed to divert the water away from that area. That area couldn't fill that much because it was gonna come into the house. And so I was try I was scooping, but I was like, ah, oh, it was so hard with, you know, like with my pregnant belly trying to, I was like, this isn't, I was like, we need to be smarter because we can't do this all night. It was not gonna stop raining all night. We didn't have anything that resembled sandbags. I only had mulch, bags of mulch, brought those. I got really frustrated at one point and was like, started to cry because I was like, it was just coming down so fast. It was just like, couldn't figure it out, you know? I get frustrated when I can't figure out a solution. My brain doesn't work fast, fast enough, I get really frustrated. So we were able to keep 95% of the water in that area from coming into the house. It was still coming through a little bit, but we could maintain it with towels and we were like wringing out towels, putting them on a spin cycle in the dryer, bringing them back out, soaking up more water, doing it again. You know, when you're homeowners, there's a huge learning curve. You encounter issues, you learn about what your house needs, how to manage it, and now next time we'll be better off. And hopefully I can figure out a better solution for that area. Welcome to the vlog. We're gonna do some inside projects today though, cause that's all we can do. Um, I'd actually like to do some stuff in the bathroom, which I'll show you later, but let's go get some, let's go get some sandbags. If we can find some, we're, we're gonna get some. First, we're getting bagels. We're almost getting coffee. <laughs> we were passing through our neighborhood and so many people have, you know, sandbags out, especially if their driveway dips down and, and we're, we're in hills. So it's like, it runs off pretty quickly, but it could be detrimental 
if the water runs towards your house. The thing is, it's not raining hard. It's constant. It doesn't stop. Romeo's wearing his snow snowboarding jacket. <laughs> It doesn't rain here, except for right this time of year. He said the bags themselves that we can fill are on aisle 18. We found the sand bags with the tie cords and everything. So we're gonna have to make our own bags, which is fine. Okay, it's still raining, but it has slowed down. This is all drained, which is great. It, was, it had time to catch up because it stopped raining for a little bit and it's just a drizzle. We made all of these sandbags out of what we got from the hardware store today. I was too short <laughs> over there. So basically my plan was any overflow from the pool now will run and hit the sandbags and run off that way because it slopes down over there. So it'll run off down the steps and down naturally instead of into this area. And then here, <laughs> I have a whole contraption I've got tarps underneath, then I've got four sandbags, and then a tarp on top with Kinsley's like little gate. And hopefully if we have another issue, like we just did, it won't come in the house. We also kind of put the living room back together. We got all the water out, everything is dry. I picked up my vintage rug and we moved it because it was like all wet underneath and we just needed to reevaluate. We soaked up as much water as we could. And then I put the rug in the dining room so we could get it out away from the wet parts. We're gonna clean it with a seam cleaner and then lay it outside in the sunshine so that it can really dry really well. But we have to wait until it stops raining. So it's like, I can't, I can't believe our house flooded. I, truly, I like, I can't believe it. But I'm so glad that we got control of it when we did. Water only reached about two thirds of this living room. So it didn't go down into the bedroom. It didn't go into the wood floor area since this is a little a tad higher and so is the kitchen. So of the disasters that could have happened, it wasn't that bad because we also have brick floors. So it was just able, we were just able to to clean it up, so. It is gonna be dark and gloomy all day. So I figured I'd do some inside stuff because there is definitely inside things to do. Like the disaster that is this room. <laughs> now, most of this disaster is our rush to put everything that was in that room in here so it wouldn't get wet. But also our crib is here, which I'm really excited about. I've got some packages to open. Romeo's got some things here too. And we still have this return to Ikea, but it's been raining. It just, we just could not. Oh, and our ladder. If you guys saw the last vlog, I found this on Facebook Marketplace. Love, love, love. I think I'm just gonna move it over here out of the way. We're gonna see how that can work out um, in the nursery. And let's open some packages. I know I got a box from Brooklyn, and I think this is it. A big thank you to them for sponsoring today's vlog because I love them. I love their sheets. We have them on every bed, <laughs> every bed. The guest bedroom, our primary bedroom, and at the cottage. We've tried all of their different um, styles of sheets. They're classic, they're percal sheet, they're linen. They don't just have sheets too. They also have towels, bath things. They also have some other stuff too. All their products are really great, but they just came out with these waffle uh, texture towels. I'm very excited about it. One of the reasons now is because every towel we own is now soaked from flooding water. It would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> to have some nice towels right about now. Woo, now all the time can be leisure time, it says. So Brooklinen's towel bundles come with four bath towels, four washcloths, four hand towels, and a bath mat. So it all comes bundled together. It's great if you're moving into a new place or you need to stock a new bathroom or you just need to update your towels because towels wear out over time, you know? So, oh, oh, and this is like their waffle pretty the texture is. I was reading about the waffle towel specifically and they are designed to reduce shrinkage and to keep their shape through normal, you know, wear and tear, like wash and use um, so that they maintain their nice shape. And they're made from 100% long staple Turkish cotton. And the waffle design is meant to absorb really quickly. So it helps you to dry off quick from the shower and they're pre-washed so that they feel extra soft. Oh yeah, Romeo's gonna love this. I really needed another uh, bath mat because we have one, just one. And when Romeo washes it, we don't have anything 
on the floor and I hate getting out of the shower with no bath mat. I'm a sucker for big towels. Oh, so nice. So if you guys wanna try out any of Brooklinen's products this year, or stock up on anything from bedding to bath essentials uh, like these, Brooklinen is giving everyone $20 off any order over $100 using my code EXO McKenna. And I'll leave the link in the description box so it's super easy for you guys to tap and use the code. Can't wait to run these through the wash and use them and I'll let you guys know how I like them tomorrow. Order some organization things for the cabinets in our bathroom, uh, which is why I said we were gonna do some bathroom things later. But it's not a best the best use underneath the sink and things. Uh, so what is that? I didn't order this. This is totally Romeo. <laughs> Cleaning supplies, totally Romeo. He ordered pine salt. Why so much? This one, happy Valentine's Day. Special delivery from Rife Paper Co. A sticky note? Look how beautiful the pattern is. A stationary set with 12 notes and envelopes. That is so pretty. I love stationary. I love pens, like nice writing pens. I love to like, you know, hand write and things. I, I love it. A journal and some cute pens. I got these storage containers um, for specifically under the sink and Romeo side. And I just ordered one set because if they look good, I'll order some more for under the sink or vice versa um, because everything's just on one level. So nothing really has organization. I think they slide out. Kinsley, are you gonna get into the container? Oh, I see. Oh, nice. And they're clear, so he can see what's in them. Those are really nice. And I got four, so two, a stack of two, two stacks of two. <sighs> okay, four of them. I actually really like these. Uh, I specifically got this one, and I'll leave it linked, it's from Amazon. I specifically got these because we only had a certain amount of width for two to sit next to each other. I had to kind of do a lot of you know, looking for ones that were skinny enough. Something that was tiered wouldn't work. I had to actually get like boxes that just like stacked. This particular cabinet, when I did the bathroom makeover, this door actually pulled down. Like it kind of like hinged down. I think maybe it was used for like laundry and things. We personally, just the way that we live, we never used it. I don't know if it felt too small or it was just unnatural. For us to use it, we have like a basket for laundry that sits back here. This used to be painted and now it looks like wood. This whole technique was so cool. I'll leave that video too if you hadn't seen the series. When I did all of this, I changed that door to be a pull down into an actual door. So I just like reconfigured it really. So now it's usable, but it's not organized. It's just all sitting on the ground. This is really Romeo's side. I'm sure he won't mind that I'm organizing his stuff. He'll be happy that I just built these and put them in there. There's a piece up here too for maybe like that old container. I think I need to get it out. Let me go get my mallet. That thing was really in there. I think that's gonna totally work. And then they pull from the bottom and he'll have clear containers to organize. Now we organize. Teeth, face, vitamins, this is teeth, this is face. Okay, I got it all organized. I think it looks really good. I mean, it definitely fits the shorter things. Um, so I don't think, I'm glad I didn't go ahead and order them for underneath here because pretty much everything underneath here is all like tall, like shampoos and lotions and dry shampoo and stuff like that and cleaning things and mouthwash like that's not gonna fit in these containers i think that this is okay for now because i don't have anything else to go under there and it's all pretty standing up pretty well so i think that's fine. but this 
he will be very happy about all of this. Everything like teeth and shaving things and face it, face and lotions is in here. And then it wasn't tall enough for his vitamins, but I think it works. Well, you guys, we officially made it through the rain. We are on the other side of it. It's not supposed to rain anymore. The sun is starting to peek through at certain times. Thank goodness we didn't have any like really, really bad damage. Uh, it was manageable, but wasn't not scary. <laughs> it was getting bad really fast and really quickly. And whew. anyways, today we do not want to stay in the house. We want to enjoy some sunshine. It is cooler today. And I want to take Romeo to baby list so that we can start picking stuff for the baby. Now that we're almost 22 weeks, when you're watching this, I'm 22 weeks to the day. So we're over halfway. We've got like four months, four, a little over four months until the baby arrives. And so I'd like, now I'm in that phase of like, okay, we're working on the nursery. We need to start deciding on things. I've been doing so much research too. And I like that showroom because you can actually see all the stuff in person and actually like experience it other than just going off of reviews online and then um, like imagining what it would look like in real life. You can actually see everything. So when I went to that event, I, I took pictures of some of the things as they were talking about them, but I want to walk through with him because I know he would uh, really enjoy like doing that. So we're going to go there, run some errands. We're going to go have lunch and sit outside, do LA things. Romeo washed all of our new towels too. Oh, feel like we've been doing laundry <laughs> towels specifically for days because we had to wash all the ones that we used to soak up the water. Um, but I used one this morning and I really like it. They're super lightweight uh, and they do absorb really, really well. So I really like them. I really needed some new washcloths specifically in here. Uh, so definitely check those out. I think I'm all ready to, oh, I forgot to do my spray. I'm so excited. I wanna go pick baby things. <laughs> neat that you can lift it. Is this your first time pushing one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going through the kitchen part right now. He's having so much fun. We definitely need to pick one of these like sterilizers, like uh, bottle sterilizers. Yeah, I definitely like this one over the cactus. It's too cutesy. It, it does look like a plant. I think I've made a grave mistake. Romeo is making me scan everything. Look at this, he's fascinated by this. Look how easy it is, right? Yeah. Counter, it comes off. But what if he so does that? Right here, I'm like this, struggling to... <laughs> like if you gave me $100 to like pull it off, I, I could You couldn't pull it off even no. for $100? No. You know. have to slide it or like pick look. it up by the edge? That's well, insane. Or pick it up by the edge, yeah. But like if... Yeah, he won't be able to do that though. No, he'll probably grab the bowl like this and it's gonna slide. That's neat. Look at this little cup. <laughs> look at that little cup. It's Newborn starter. He said, this is perfect when we bathe Kinsley. <laughs> because I bathed Kinsley the other day in the bathtub and it was so hard on my knees. Oh, yes. I love the sage color actually. But did you see the stars and the rockets? It's like a little, a little play, play mat. That'd be nice to have. To yeah, because he's going to have to do tummy time. I like tummy time. You like tummy time? <gasps> Look at the stars embroidered. Oh, that's cute. Look at the rocket. Yeah, that's cool. That one's really cute. Oh my goodness. Look how cute. The cloud rocker for our space kind of like cloud. Do you think that would be cute in the nursery? I think so. <laughs> Let's see how much yet. it is first. It's so cute, sweet. Oh my gosh, they literally have the the one that was on my board that I liked. And then this one with the felt, which is really cute too. I was gonna make it with clouds. You know, we could get something like this and I can add clouds to it. Which one do you like better? They're both kind of cool. I feel like it should be like the last thing we pick because we see yeah. the room come together. Mm -hmm. Great. So from here, it does it blends in perfectly. <laughs> so it literally looks I'm gonna like I'm going to show shirt. you from square square one, but a nice shorthand is you can just take it off like that, right? When you're okay. ready to go. Mm -hmm. So this is adjustable. So as baby gets bigger, you can add more space. So this is how you'll probably put it on, right? Mm -hmm. 
So then you click that, and, and I love how satisfying your clicks are. You know you're safe. That is. So these are, <laughs> I call these little pads. Okay. So you'll uh, put that one in there. Okay. Great, and then it's time for Bebe. <laughs> so Bebe will be you. Bebe will be you, so we slide Bebe in there. Oh my and then God. from here, um, boost baby from outside here, boost baby's bottom up a little bit so that you have the slack oh, to go through here. Kids, I love this baby's heavy. Baby's heavy. <laughs> so, this, so now you can let go of Bebe. There's Bebe a soft. He's a big oh, baby weight. He's, I I'm think curious. he's like seven or ten. This is seven or ten? Yeah. Holy yeah. moly. Not more, okay. I think. So that's so you're good. Actually, and ideally, you'd want to have them. As you be able to kiss the top of their head, like bend your head forward and kiss the top of their head. So we scoop baby up. I'm gonna you you scoot. Yeah, so okay. higher position, yeah. huh? So we do a little tighten. <laughs> the pieces. Everything's yeah, and then you can let go. It's pretty comfortable, right? Honestly, comfortable this and easy. Is comfortable. I know that's my favorite yeah. one. I mean, seven to ten. That's what the baby's gonna come out as. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's. Right. I was seven and I a half right. pounds. I came out ten pounds, and I apologize to my mother frequently. <laughs> you would try and go for the like biggest, hardest thing. I don't. You know what? I like a challenge. Okay? You like a challenge. Let's see. No, we're gonna do this three times here. Let's see. No. Uh, you need to grab one of the little okay. balls. Wait, we could really keep it? For it's a free can of formula, it says. Not that we're gonna formula feed right. Over. We don't know. I've never gotten a, a winner out of a claw game. Okay. Wait, one more, one more, one more. This one. <laughs> Wait. So you could even like the little doll too? I don't it? know. Oh, it's getting serious. He's looking at it from all angles now. <gasps> oh, no, 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 oh, no. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, I, can no, get no. It. I can get it. It'll get under his belly. Okay. It's all about the angle. It's all about the angle. <laughs> oh, my. I'm never going to win at the claw game. A belly mask? Hooded towels. Comfortable. Yeah. We're back home now and we got a few things from the shop that they had at Baby List. Uh, we got a few books that were kind of like more like s space planet themed. We got Good Night Moon, which I remember from our oh, this is the same one that we read when we were when we were little. And then this one was Here We Are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth. The graphics in it, like the drawings, were so cute. Like look at all the animals and the people, all the different people on planet Earth. Look how cute. I like the one where they, this one, where they were under the sea. I thought that was so cute. So we got a few books that were just kind of themed. This I fell in love with. Yes, it's, yes, it is space themed, but it was like, this is perfect because this is the, a book of firsts. So we can add in, you know, the story of him and like his first ultrasound, even though I have a whole journal and, and photo album that I'm, I've been keeping uh, since we got pregnant. But this is like, Kind of a cute thing to keep going, like our birth announcement, his footprints, and it's all space themed. I thought that was so cute when you were born. So we got that, and then we got these like star hooded little towels, which were cute for like bath time and stuff. So just a few things. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I did not enjoy what happened in it at all. <laughs> I did not, I did not, I don't want that to ever happen again. I don't want to ever make another video with um, that being its content. I don't want my house to flood again, but we're, we're past it. We're over it. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for another vlog. I'm going to keep working on the nursery and don't forget to check out Brooklinen for all of your bedding and bath essentials. And you can get $20 off any order over a hundred dollars with my code XO McKenna. I'll leave the link for you. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope it, you have. I hope you have really, really good weather and you can do something fun and nice outside this weekend. Bye, guys.